Hello guys and welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial. Today I'm going to quickly show you guys how to make chains in Blender. Let's get started. So delete the default cube and add in a torus. Now you can turn the subdivisions of the torus down to about half to save us some of those pretty faces. Now if you go into edit mode, press 7 on the numpad, and then if you press Z and go into wireframe, you can select the bottom half and extrude this down on the Z axis until, until it starts looking a bit like a chain. Now if you go back into solid view, you can shade smooth this, copy it, rotate it on the Y axis about 90 degrees, and then move it until it looks like it's just linking up with the other chain. Now if you select each chain bit and press Ctrl J, you've officially joined them together. Now if you select Object, go to Set Origin, Origin to Geometry to make sure the origin is centered because it just looks nicer. Now if you add in an Array modifier and change the offset on the Y to um, 1, as you can see, they're not really linking up, so you're going to want to change this to something a little bit less than 1. Now if I change the count on the Array modifier, this chain can go on as long as we want. But let's take this a step further. Let's say I added in a Biezer curve. I'm just going to hide this for now. I'm going to move this around and I'm going to extrude it a few times and I'm going to make it look pretty. There, that's a decent looking curve. Now if we add this chain back in, add modifier and add a curve modifier, and switch the object to the Biezer curve we just added, as you can see we got some pretty strange looking results. But in changing the deformation axis and potentially adding in some subdivision after. As you can see, we've got this mostly decent looking chain. Now, the reason it's bending the actual chain bits is because the curve has really sharp turns where if you wanted to keep this in its own bounds, you could run a physics simulation. You could rotate each individual piece, but unless you plan on having this intense change in rotation, a curve would be a great way to do a very open wide, slight, curve if you know what I mean. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps out and I hope to see you guys on another video. Goodbye.